Have you ever wondered if you've reached a state of nirvana? What does it even mean to reach such a state? That's a question that has intrigued spiritual seekers for millennia. It symbolizes the ultimate state of spiritual attainment where all desires, fears, and illusions are extinguished, leading to a state of profound peace and ultimate liberation. Dolores Cannon, a renowned hypnotherapist and spiritual teacher, offers a unique perspective on this enlightening state. Through her teachings, she has provided invaluable insights into the signs that indicate a person may have reached nirvana. These signs can serve as beacons, guiding us on our spiritual journey, enabling us to gauge our progress and navigate our path with greater clarity. So, are you ready to discern the signs within yourself? Stay with us as we explore the seven clear signs that you've reached a state of nirvana. Absence of desire. The first sign is the absence of desire. This is not about denying yourself joy or pleasure. Rather, it's about transcending the pursuit of transient materialistic wants and finding a deeper contentment within. Imagine a life where your happiness is not dictated by the things you acquire or the goals you achieve. Instead, imagine a life where your joy is rooted in your own being, independent of external circumstances. This is the state of a person who has transcended desire, detached from the fleeting whims of the material world. Such a person finds a profound satisfaction in the here and now, no matter what the circumstance. They are in a state of constant fulfillment as they have realized that the true source of happiness lies within, not outside. This detachment from desire, this profound contentment and inner fulfillment is a signpost on the path to nirvana. When desires cease to exist, you've taken the first step towards nirvana. Inner peace. What a profound concept. Yet it's not about being in a place where there's no noise, trouble, or hard work. It's about being in the midst of those things and still being calm in your heart. This is what inner peace looks like. It's a tranquil mind, a heart free of conflict, and a soul that is not in turmoil. Imagine a vast, serene lake, undisturbed by the winds of worry, fear, or regret. This is the essence of inner peace, it's not about eliminating the storms of life, but learning how to navigate through them without losing your calm. When you find yourself undisturbed by the constant chatter of the mind, when you can remain tranquil in the face of adversity, when the tumult of the world no longer disturbs your inner sanctuary, then you have achieved inner peace. And this, my dear friends, is a clear sign that you are on the path to Nirvana. When you are at peace within, you are closer to nirvana. Freedom from fear. The third sign is freedom from fear. At the heart of our human experience is a primal instinct, fear. It's a survival mechanism that has been deeply ingrained in us throughout millennia. But as we ascend to a state of nirvana, this fear begins to dissipate. Imagine fear as a thick fog surrounding you, clouding your vision and judgment. Achieving Nirvana is like stepping out of this fog into a clear day. Suddenly, you can see the world for what it truly is, without the distortion of fear. The fear of loss, the fear of failure, and most profoundly the fear of death, no longer have a grip on you. This is not to say that you become reckless or heedless of danger, rather, you understand the transient nature of life, accepting it without fear. You embrace the inevitable cycle of life and death, seeing it as a natural process rather than a terrifying end. When fear no longer holds power over you, nirvana is within reach. Unconditional love. The fourth sign is unconditional love. This is a love that is selfless, pure, and infinite. It's a love that doesn't seek anything in return, a love that doesn't hold a scorecard. It simply exists, radiating warmth and light. Imagine a love that is not tethered by conditions, a love that doesn't change with the changing seasons of life. 
It's a love that is as steady as a mountain, as vast as the sky, and as deep as the ocean. That's what unconditional love is. It's a love that sees beyond the flaws and imperfections, that embraces all with open arms. Attaining a state of nirvana is synonymous with embodying this kind of love. It's a love that transcends the physical realm, a love that is spiritual in its essence. It's an expression of the divine within us, a manifestation of the highest form of consciousness. When love flows freely from your heart, you've moved closer to nirvana. Non-attachment. The fifth sign is non-attachment. Let's unravel this. Non-attachment is not about having nothing. It's about not allowing what you have to own you. It's about freedom from the chains of desire, the need for possession, and the fear of loss. It's about understanding that people, things, and outcomes are not the source of true happiness. Imagine a bird soaring high in the sky. It's not attached to any particular tree, yet it's at home wherever it lands. Similarly, non-attachment is about being grounded in your own being, without clinging to external elements for validation or satisfaction. Non-attachment is also about letting go of preconceived outcomes. It's about doing your best in the present moment and leaving the results to the flow of life. It's about embracing the journey without obsessing over the destination. When attachments no longer bind you, when you can enjoy life's offerings without clinging to them, when you can love without possessing, you're nearing nirvana. The joy of being. The sixth sign is the joy of being. It's a profound realization that comes when you've reached the state of nirvana. This isn't the fleeting happiness that comes from acquiring material possessions or achieving worldly success. This joy is deeply rooted in the essence of your being, in simply existing, breathing, and experiencing the world around you. It's about finding delight in the ordinary, the mundane, the everyday moments. It's the joy that arises when you're fully present, fully alive, and fully conscious. It's a joy that doesn't need an external stimulus to trigger it. Rather, it flows from within, like a spring that never runs dry. It's a joy that's independent of circumstances, a joy that's unwavering, even in the face of life's ups and downs. It's a joy that's uncaused, spontaneous, and free. When you find this joy, when you start to relish the simple act of existence, you've touched the fringes of nirvana. When you rejoice in existence itself, nirvana isn't far away. Living in the present. The final sign is living in the present. Living in the present is not just about mindfulness. It's about embracing every fleeting moment as it is, without the burden of past regrets or future anxieties. It's about fully experiencing the now, the only real moment we have. Imagine a state where the noise of your thoughts, your worries about tomorrow, your regrets from yesterday, all cease to exist. What you're left with is pure consciousness an unadulterated awareness of the now. This is the essence of living in the present. In this state, every breath you take, every beat of your heart, every sensation you feel is a celebration of existence. The past is a memory, the future is a mystery, but the present is a gift. That's why it's called the present. When you live in the now, free from the constraints of time, you're not just existing, you're truly living. When you live in the now, you're in a state of nirvana. The journey to nirvana. And there you have it, the seven clear signs of reaching a state of nirvana. Let's take a moment to reflect on these signs. First, we talked about the absence of desire, the realization that true happiness is not tied to material possessions or external validation. This is a profound shift in perspective, a departure from the endless cycle of want and need. Next, we touched on inner peace. It's a state of tranquility that transcends the chaos of the world around us. It's the ability to remain calm and composed, 
even in the face of adversity. It's a sign that we've made peace with ourselves and the world around us. Then, we discuss the freedom from fear. Fear is a powerful force that can hold us back, but once we've reached a state of nirvana, we're no longer shackled by it. We're free to live our lives without fear of judgment, failure, or rejection. We also explored the concept of unconditional love. This sign is about embracing all beings with an open heart, without judgment or conditions. It's about the capacity to love and accept others just as they are. The fifth sign is non-attachment. It's the ability to appreciate the present moment without clinging to it or fearing its loss. It's about understanding the impermanence of all things and still finding joy in them. Then, we delved into the joy of being, an intrinsic sense of happiness that arises from simply existing, from being present and aware. Finally, we talked about living in the present. It's about fully embracing the here and now without obsessing over the past or worrying about the future. Each of these signs is a stepping stone on the path to Nirvana. The journey to Nirvana is not about reaching a final destination, but about the ongoing process of self-discovery and self-improvement. Remember, Nirvana is not a destination, but a state of being, a journey within. So, are you on the path to Nirvana?